Look up at the skylight above you. Can you see it? Is there light coming through it now? It looked like a sort of abstract or minimalist painting. What is the difference between a minimalist artwork and other similarly looking constructed forms I see every day? I guess it all must be about the context in which you encounter the artworks. April 18, 2011, 1.53 p.m. The teenager who miraculously survived a suicidal plunge off the Golden Gate Bridge was walking with her parents and sister before she jumped Sunday morning, authorities said Monday. Although she's on a respirator for her punctured lung, she's in stable condition and expected to survive. There are a pair of binoculars attached to the railing somewhere near you. Find them. Now look out onto the bridge. Can you see anybody walking by? Look at their face. Do they seem lost to you or lost in their thoughts, perhaps? I wonder if they ever break away and become colorful like the trees. You can see them, but they don't know you're looking. Do you feel like a voyeur? Hi, this is Agent Sterling calling from the FBI crime team. I'm following up from our review of your museum earlier this week. Our review of your security protocols reveals that uh, you have adequate measures in place, but you may have created a labyrinth for first responders coming to your aid in the event of an aesthetic emergency. If I were you, I would consider taming some of those curves back into good old-fashioned right angles. But have you ever heard of flash mobs, or rather, flash robs? Trust me, Google it. This is a special place you find yourself, a window into another world. Go ahead, take a look into the window. It is the waiting room in Clinic of Art, where doctors examine objects for health, perform surgeries and inoculate against hidden dangers. This private room you're facing is just like peering into someone's bedroom or closet or any other place they keep and revisit their beloved objects. Whether it is a shoebox or a shrine, isn't it your museum that you guard it with more passion than an hourly employee? face the Weissman Museum and try to follow my train of thought. Architecture, sculpture, knowledge, some of the most enduring examples of one's legacy. Start to walk back towards the museum very slowly. This building is legacy writ large, and it's not just bricks and bronze and formulas. Eventually, though, the building becomes a kind of monolith or monument, like an homage to our struggle between urbanism and the natural landscape or knowledge and forgetting. You should be back at the building now. Can you see it? Can you see the strange clouds above you? Are they wispy and thin like the ones I saw? When it rains, the water that falls on us is the water that was weeping from a tree maybe only days before. And of course, this water was locked up in a snowflake before that, and so on and so on for all we know. Look out, across from you, look at the river. Maybe a homemade raft could take you downstream, past St. Paul and on beyond Red Wing. In maybe a week, you'd reach La Crosse, and then on to Dubuque, and you could dream about passing a little town like Hannibal, and the river would be wide and flat there. Step into the hallway here and take a short walk with me. The world was changing, and it was going to be better for everyone. Now, look back up the hallway and watch yourself in the mirror while I talk some more. It was a different time then, and everybody's minds were opening up. The culture was shifting. Walk up close to the door on the left. Put your ear up against it. Listen. You could hear grunting in there, sometimes a whistle. The tide was turning in those days, and so few knew it then. <laughs>